Well, good afternoon and welcome to this edition of Sell Your Own Product on Amazon for Income and Lifestyle with the emphasis on lifestyle like we always talk about. And I'm going to start this program just to tell you because so many people ask me, Terry, you never explain anything about the, the course. So I'm going to explain just a little bit about the course. The course is 44, I believe it is. Some videos, some new are being made. We're going to put in there uh, that show you everything from uh, – establishing your account at Amazon to picking a product to sell, sourcing that product, uh, whether it be uh, in China or here in the United States, uh, you know, uh, wherever it is, wherever you can get the best deal or wherever you feel comfortable at, you do that. And then you get that product, we ship it right to Amazon and we don't ship it to ourselves so we can load pallets and all that kind of stuff. We ship it right to Amazon and we have the suppliers send us a sample so we know make sure everything is all right then we give the okay it ships right to amazon so we don't have to be bagging a product we don't have to be listing the product or labeling the product or any of that kind of stuff it goes right to amazon amazon sells the product for us every two weeks they do a deposit into our checking account uh, that's the lifestyle part folks that's why because when we're the, the part you need to be involved in and the part you need to, is not that work stuff. It's, it's the promotion part. And that's mainly what we're going to talk about this afternoon or tonight is, is the promotion part. So uh, uh, with that being said, uh, one more, uh, so many people say they want to, they, they feel like they're really accomplishing something if they're labeling a product and that. And it's not folks, if you're doing retail, ar retail arbitrage or something like that, uh, then that's fine. But if you're doing private label, you don't want to be, doing labels. You don't want to do doing bagging or any of that kind of stuff. You want to be able to work on the promotion. And that's the part that we're going to talk about this, af this afternoon. And I'm sorry I said tonight. I'm so used to doing this in, in at nighttime, but I this is something special that I wanted to get out. And uh, we have a special uh, sponsor this afternoon. It's over there in the side, Virginia, the Hangout Croatian creation course made easy and we're going to explain why later on in that but uh, what we're going to talk about today is promoting and you know if you're if, if you're selling private label it, it's a lot different than like i say selling retail arbitrage or something because you want to promote your brand you want to have your brand stand out you want to establish that brand so when people see that whether it be terry's widgets or uh, 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 mike's uh uh infusion bottle or whatever whatever it is you want that brand and that to stand out in people so when they see your next product or you've got them on your list you can send them a, an email or something or, or a, a coupon or whatever it is to get them to buy your next product but they're going to trust you because they've, you've already bought that great product so that's promotion folks and we're going to talk about that this afternoon strictly what we're going to talk about is promotion because it's it's getting crucial as as the time goes on and i firmly believe that by uh, maybe the summer, next summer, or something like that. If you're not promoting, you're not you're, you're just not going to be around because uh, 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 <laughs> that's where it's at. And the, the Amazon promotion. Well, let's get into it. Let's get into it, and you'll and I'll explain why. And if not, I ask answer questions at the end. So what can I tell you? Uh, I appreciate. It. Let's go over here to screen share. Let's find that. Let's find my PowerPoint presentation here it is right here we'll get it and bring it up and here we are promote your product use media and establish your brand and that's the only way you're going to you can promote your product you know the only other way i know what to do is to use media is is you could <laughs> if there was some way you could get a link between uh the customers and amazon when you got in and put your ad right there in front of it, it might work but i think that's highly improbable and it's not going to work so uh, uh so we're talking about this afternoon is promoting your products and establishing your brand using media what can I tell you? And if you look down there in the signs, we've got all different kind of uh, medias, blah, Periscope, YouTube, Hangouts on Air, RSS feed, MP3s, MP4s. Uh, man, I could just go on. There's uh, Facebook. Uh, uh, I, you name it. You know as well as I do. I could probably fill out four or five uh, different things. But uh, we're going on. So how do we usually – how do we – promote our product well the usual way is to use what amazon's given us and we thank god for amazon i'm not picking on them here but i'm going to tell you why usual is not enough it used to be you know you could go three four years ago back here when uh, or well before that when i first got started that and you could send a product in if it was a good product and a quality product you could get that product selling off the shelves and it would it would move but uh, i think the point is uh the, 
it's time where there's there's more competition. There's more going on. I think it's time. It's now is the time when usual is not enough. You've got to do more. So what's usual? The usual thing is friends, neighbors, and relatives. You know, if you've ever sold Amway or any of that kind of stuff, what's the th first thing? Are those uh, organizations you know what's the first thing they tell teach you they always teach you to go out and hit your friends your neighbors and your relatives that's just natural that's a given it's been that way since uh probably since the first person started selling probably you know when i tell you it's just natural friends neighbors and relatives they're the people that know you they're the people that's going to trust you they trust you and so they're going to buy from you they're going to take your word that the, the what you say is is true about it and uh, and so there's nothing wrong with it and that's what amazon teaches well that amazon doesn't teach you most of the people teaching this course and uh, well amazon does too in a certain way but they think that's the first way if you're coming out with blue widgets and there's a it's terry's blue widgets and uh, uh sam's blue widgets are the ones you want to beat sam's blue widgets has got 150 uh a referrals and your product are almost similar in that except you of course you've made yours a little bit better but what are you going to do you're going to have to get 151 reviews you've got to get it and how do you get that thing you use the promotions you talk your friends your relatives into buying it you give them a big discount so they buy it so they and then they send you in a review and hopefully you know you've got the money to do it keep going and uh, uh there's other ways you can do it. We talked about some of those last week uh, with uh, some of the clubs and that. But uh, uh, that's mainly how we've been teaching for years and how you get those first reviews, which are crucial because there's no way. Amazon wants their customers to have the best possible experience. And if your competitor's products has got 150 reviews and you've only got 100, they're going to show your competitive pro competitor's product first because they want to have their customers to have the best possible experience. So. What do you have to do? You have to get out there and you have to hustle and you have to get reviews. It's just that simple. You know, if you want your product to show, unless we get into some of the other promotions like we're talking about, and then Amazon gives you Amazon promotions. You know, you can do an Amazon promotion and we're going to get that in the next slide. And the same thing with the Amazon campaign manager. You can set it up and, and, and uh, set all that. The, the campaign manager is like uh, what AdWords used to be or AdSense or whatever it is. And uh, man, I'm telling you that it's like a it's it's almost like a shell game not really i mean there's some skill to it and it takes a lot to uh, get it going but we'll talk about that in a little bit let's go on over here so <clears throat> why is this not enough so so friends neighbors and relatives let me ask you how much can you afford to give away now you got your product up there on Amazon. You've got it into Amazon, and and it's sitting there on the shelves. It's looking good. You've got your seven pictures all made. You've got your descriptions just out, but it's not getting sold. Why? Because it doesn't have any reviews. So, it, it, to get those reviews, your friends, and neighbors, and relatives, and other pieces, these other promotions thing. So, how much can you afford to give away? And that's what it really amounts to. It boils down to it because you're not going to get somebody to come in and magically buy 151 of your product and give you 151 reviews well Amazon wouldn't like that for, uh, let you do that anyway but uh, uh, let's just say you know you know what I'm talking about so how much can you afford to give away you know you're down around the 90 percent right could usually on these 85 to 95 percent what you're giving them off which puts you down probably be below, below cost you know or set it at cost and 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 you take care of the Amazon promotions, whatever you want to do. I'm not getting into that to this afternoon. It's not the, not the program for today. But you don't understand what I'm saying. So how much can you, you know? So give away. And that's, and that's those basically how we get the reviews. Now you get into Amazon promotions. Amazon's got, if you go to the Amazon promotion tab and you click on it, you're going to see they've got four promotions they've got. Well, the first one is free shipping. You can offer free shipping with your product. Now, let me ask you something. With Amazon Prime being as popular as it is, most of the products on there, they just had a, a, a promotion here, was it last week or a week before, where you could get a Prime for new customers for $49 or something, $45 or whatever, whatever it was. I don't remember. But anyway, uh, they are. Let me ask you. Most of the customers on Amazon anymore are like my daughters. My daughters, uh, she's a, uh, uh, a salesman with a uh, uh, 
one of the sporting goods companies. She sells from that. She spills all the time. She comes home. She didn't have time to be picking up her two kids. She picks them up. She wants to spend time with them. She don't want to be going to the grocery store. She don't want to be standing in the cookie line at the grocery store and, and watch them spill their, their drink and all that. She wants to spend quality time with them at home. So what does she do? I'll tell you what she does. She turns her computer on, goes to Amazon, orders what she wants. And within tomorrow or the next day, it's right there in her doorstep. And she didn't have to leave the home. She could spend time with her kids. And that's what so many people are doing. We're getting so busy, uh, so uh, involved in everything that we don't have time with that. You know, uh, if you live like uh, I do back in, in kind of in a, in a retirement community and stuff, you'll still see a lot of people at the grocery store. But uh, in those cubes where you got your millennials and that, uh, they're not. They're out there. They're uh, they're working. They're doing their thing. And what are they going to do? They're going to have their stuff sent to uh, their house, you know, with Prime. So what I'm trying to bring out here, so you offer free shipping. They get free shipping with Prime as long as they buy over, what is it, $35 worth. And if you're doing a, your groceries and that, it's going to be over $35. So uh, especially her family and that, she's got the kids, two kids and all that. Uh, it's a no-brainer. So what I'm saying is yeah, you can offer free shipping. You can do it. Sometimes it'll it'll work a little bit, but I don't think it's anything to be to to get yourself all excited about because not many people are going to take you up on it. Money off, just on Amazon, not much. And I, I'm going to wait till I get through through because they've got uh, four altogether. The next uh, money off is one of their uh, campaigns, and buy one get one free just on Amazon. Blah. Uh, and I'm going to explain why. Ex ex external benefits. That's their fourth campaign they've got. Fourth thing you can set up. The external benefits is something works something like that. I have got uh, as you probably all know, I sell cutting boards. On it. So I'm, I go to my, if I, I want to sell more cutting boards, I can go up and set a thing where if somebody buys one of my cutting boards, they get uh, a set of uh, uh, bamboo spoons, at, of my bamboo spoons that I sell at 50% uh, off. That's it. Do I think that's, uh, I think that's a legitimate promotion? I think it's good, but it's just like this guy here. It's nothing to real get excited about. Uh, you know, he's got that sad face, and, and they're all like that because uh, uh, they're just not anything to get excited about. And then I'm going to tell you one of my real reasons I'm not so, and let, and, and let me ask you this. Let me ask you one question. As often as you've searched on Amazon, have you seen one of these promotions? Now, other than if you've done one yourself, you, of course, not go to it and make sure it's there and everything like that. But have you seen one of these promotions? Have these promotions really worked for you? I think, guys, I think you're going to tell me no every time. Amazon purchasers don't look for these promotions. For one thing, they haven't been taught by Amazon to look at it, and I don't know that Amazon does want them or not. That's beside the point. But you're not you're not taught to look for these. You're in a hurry. It's like my daughter. You just you want to get the stuff you want to get down so she can spend time with her family, you know. And that's what is going on. So that's the reason I think those Amazon promotions they're good. Don't get me wrong. And I think you need to do them. And remember, I said that. Don't you? I think you need to do it. But I don't think they're going to give you the boost. I don't think they're going to give you the jump in sales that you really want. So with that being said, um, the last point is all good promotions start and originate outside Amazon. I think if you really want your goods flying off the shelf, I think if you want your goods, you know, just, just going right out and going and going and going and you're going to build that brand, then you need to all good promotions start and originate outside Amazon. I'm sorry, Amazon. Don't mean to you think. So that means you're going to have to do media. And that's what we talked about. That's one of the main things. You're going to have to do media. Media is, is uh, well, anyway, here's what Wikipedia's uh, definition. Media are the collective communication outlets or tools that are used to store and deliver information or data. data. That's real simple. In other words, any place you go to learn about something or to hear about something or to pick up something, that's a media outlet. You know, we go to watch uh, TV to maybe to, to watch our favorite show, or maybe we go to uh, watch the news to see what's going on around us or in the world. Maybe we uh, do all kinds of things. We go to uh, radio, uh, 
on our drive time and all that, when we're going to work, drive back and forth to see what's going on or get entertained, whatever you want, or just we'll catch up on the news, whatever you want. But that's the thing. That's that's media. Anything we go, we, we go to media, go to, to a website to learn about a product, learn about anything. We go to Facebook to catch up on one of our friends, how many groups we're in. If we're in a business group, we'll find out how our, 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 our uh, excuse me just a minute, I got to take a drink of water. How our cohorts, or whatever, you want, I'm, I'm strong for a word here. Anyway, it, we go to Facebook to find out what other people in our situation are doing. What are they doing that I can do that's going to make me more profit? What are they doing that I'm doing that's going to give me more cu customers? And that's what you want. That's what it's all about. That's media. That's anything you do. I, and I just wrote down just a few of them. My gosh, I could probably do 12 sheets like this because we got Facebook, Google Plus, websites, Yahoo, YouTube, Periscope. Lab hangouts on air, guys. What can I tell you, folks? These are all different types of media, and like I say, there's probably 10 20 times that many uh media outlets. You can go uh, wherever you want, all the different uh, uh, you know, groups where they have for uh, businessmen for their cards and and uh, uh, all that. You know, they're all over the place, they're different medias. And so, let me ask you a question now. I want you to ask me a question. You're looking here. iTunes is the third largest search engine. Do you have a presence on iTunes? I'm thinking this. Tell me, and I'm going to ask you right now. Why not? Why don't you? If iTunes is the third largest search engine, do you have a presence on iTunes? And if you don't, why don't you? For guys' sakes, anything that's putting that much uh it's the third largest, so it's got that many followers and everything else. Why wouldn't you want your product on iTunes? Why not? Let me just asking you. Let's go on. I'll tell you here's why. The younger generation, the millennials, and those after us, and even, even I'm getting to the point, are no longer watching TV, listening to conventional radio, etc. All right, let me go. Gen younger generation, the millennials, are no longer watching TV. Listening to conventional radios, etc. There are they are streaming whatever they want. Did you hear me? They are streaming whatever they want because they want it their way when they want it on their time and everything else. They're streaming whatever they want. Start this year. New cars. For guys' sakes, folks. Here's the see the writing on the on the wall. Whatever you want to call it. New cars are coming. 4G equipped. You see the commercials on television they started to now? That new cars are coming for, for 4G equipped. That means that you can text in the car. Well, you can text on your phone. But as far as that goes, you can do so much in your car. You can pull up a web page. You can pull up this. You can do that. You can pull up the information you need right there from your car. So why wouldn't you have a presence on iTunes? The greatest market ever established i finally believe this because it was, is drive time and you know what drive time that's the drive time from the time you go to work from you leave your house you go to work and then you leave work and you go back home it's a captive audience they're in the car they can't really go anything else they can't be a thing they have to and you can listen to the radio while you're driving and all that so it, it it's a captive audience they have to do something but with when these cars get uh, as they are now, becoming out 4G equipped, and they're going to come more and more. It's going to be more and more popular. Uh, like I say, and these millennials are streaming whatever they want. Don't you think if you're on there with, uh, uh, what can I say, Mike's, uh, uh, what was I talking about? Well, I go, Mike's uh, uh, infuse your bottle recipes or something like that. Because here's a late somebody that say a young mom or something like that wants your family to eat healthy and everything like that trying to get them away from um, uh, sodas and all that is doing a good job but want them to get them something that's fun and exciting and tastes good so and here's mike comes out with this uh infuse your bottle uh healthy recipes that doesn't sound a real thing you come up with a better title than that but anyway you understand what i'm saying and, and that's what she's going to listen to on the way home it's going to be listen to something that she wants to now Maybe she won't do it every night, but that doesn't make any difference. She will when she wants, and she's going to know that Mike's 
in future bottle is the one to use. Not Joe's, not Terry's, not Larry's, not Moe's, not Curly's, whatever. She's going to use Mike's because Mike's the one that gave her these uh, these tips or whatever. And she picked them up on the radio. She's driving home. So do you follow where I'm going here? So they are streaming whatever they want. In future bottle recipes, you know, uh, uh, recipes, something quick to cook on on the way home. Or like I said, you know, I sell cutting board and uh, uh, I could put cutting board tips, Terry's cutting board tips, Terry's, uh, uh, what a call, uh, Terry's uh, bamboo, uh, uh, enduring bamboo hour, you know, and, and build my brand. So whenever she goes and she's looking for utensils or something like that, she's going to look for that it, uh, brand enduring bamboo or something. So you follow where I'm coming about. So it's the greatest, and this is this is what's coming on. This is a whole new audi audience that's coming on because before, I suppose you could stream it through your uh, uh, phone, and then it'd be hard to listen to and all that. But the new cars, they're coming out with this 4G equipped. It's, I mean, tell you folks, you need to take advantage of it. How are you going to do it? You're going to need to be on iTunes if you want. Uh, that's the only reason. Let me ask you again. Do you have a presence on iTunes? It's just real simple. Do you have a presence on iTunes? And I'll ask you once more time, why not? You need to be on iTunes. Okay, so let me ask you that. You need to be on the media. You need to be on iTunes. All right. You need to be in a lot of other places too. But would you prefer one or more media at a time? In other words, uh, let's put it this way. This broadcast I'm doing here right here right now. This broadcast is done on Google Hangouts, and you can go to Google Hangouts to watch it. But what about uh, Joe Blow over there that's not, doesn't even know how to get to Google Hangouts, but he'd like to learn about promoting their products or something like that. Where is he going to go? Maybe he might go to YouTube. Yes, I'm probably going to come up. But if he doesn't go to YouTube, what if he goes over to uh, uh, Blab? Uh, that's the, one of the new programs like that. Yeah, I'm going to be on Blab. What about Periscope? Yeah, I've got Periscope at the time is not uh, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, you can't replay it. So, but it it it'll get there because uh, for if you don't know it, uh, Twitter owns Periscope, and uh, believe me, they'll be there and it won't be long. But uh, what about iTunes? Do I need to be on iTunes? You better believe I need to be on iTunes. And I'm guaranteeing you by the time next week comes around, I will be on iTunes. Uh, I, I just got to finish setting it up, and that's uh, and that's what I'm working for. So this particular broadcast right here is not going to probably be on iTunes unless I do it later, which is – well, I'm not sure about that. And I'm not going to say – but anyway, this one is not going to iTunes right now. It should be, and it will be by next week. What uh, that's, that's all I can say. So – how many times, if, if you're going to do a broadcast like I'm doing, I love doing these broadcasts, but man, I don't want to do one. I you know, do one, but I don't want to do two, three, four. Can you imagine I get done with this about maybe uh, uh, 2.45, 3 o'clock, so then I jump on and do another one on another media for uh, another 45 minutes to an hour and do another one after that. Do it. Man, that would kill you. But when I can do one this one time, and I can get it spread out over all these different medias, and it shows up, and I get credit for it, and I get a link for each one, and it gets in the search engines, and it gets noticed. What do you think that does? What do you think? So uh, what am I talking on this all about? So I want to tell you, this is the fastest way to get up to speed. And I want to tell you about this. This is a new course that's coming. It's coming out this tomorrow, Tuesday. Now, it's an evergreen course, and what that means is that once the course, once Tuesday's course is on, it'll be live forever. I mean, you can you can join, and if you come in a week from now, you can get in there, and you can get in and get But for those that want, this, it's Advanced Hangout and Live Stream Marketing Blueprint. It's to shine as the go-to expert. In other words, you want to be, and that's what we're talking about. I don't care what niche you're in what your brand is, you want to shine. In other words, you want to be the go-to expert so that that lady, when she's on her drive time and she's on her way home or, or whatever she's doing, that she and, and she wants to learn about uh, the Terry's Blue Widgets, she's going to turn on the Terry Blue Widget can, channel and she's going to listen.
listen to it because pick up the, what, what she wants and find out what she needs to know. And then she's fine. And believe me, when she goes to the store, she is not going to buy Joe's Blue Widgets or Greg's Blue Widgets. She's going to buy Terry's. And that's what we're talking about. So you want to shine as a go-to expert in your niche. I don't care what it is. And it doesn't have to be food by any means. It can be a, a, a silicone spatulas. It could be a, infuse your bottles. It could be a, a fireworks. Uh, it could be, uh, what are some of the stuff, the toys coming up are coming up at Christmas time. They've got some of those toys that you can set out where you can uh, uh, light one and it's just a string that goes out, which are going to be thinking right around uh, New Year's and all that, are going to be a hot toy this Christmas time. So, oh, balloons you can do where you can uh, blow up, uh, uh, what, what, 50 or 100 balloons at a time, and uh, uh, they go out, and they're water balloons. You know, and anyway, there's all different kind of stuff like that coming up. But that's what you want to be. You want to be. You want to be Joe's water balloon. Uh, 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 whatever I don't water balloon uh, expert. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I could think of all kind of tips how you can hide behind the, the the bushes, how you can do that, how you can do it from up above, all that kind of tips you could give out, and uh, uh, that'd be great because that's stuff that's that's relevant, stuff people want to know, and that's what the millennials are looking for. They're looking for how to do it, how to have fun, how to get it when I want. But the you know, thing of it is, they want to do it on their time. Get that one more time. They want to do it on their time. Not just because I'm having this show at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Do you have to come? No. You don't have to come at 2 o'clock in the afternoon because within one, whatever time we finish this show, within 15 minutes, it's going to be rendered, and it's going to be available on Google+. Uh, Plus. It's going to be on on, uh, on YouTube. It's going to be on my uh, private label selling.com. It's going to be on there, and it's going to be two, three other places. You know, it, it, it's going to be there because I've got it set up that way, and people are going to be able to catch it whenever they want, not just because I'm doing it at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock doesn't mean anything. As a matter of fact, on Thursday night, I'm going to be honest with you now, Thursday night, sometimes, sometimes, I'll have less than 10 people on my show on Thursday night. Now, it's Thursday night, but yet by Monday morning, there's probably close to 200 people or better that have watched the program. Why? Because they wanted to do it on their time. They appreciate but they got everything's going on. It. What can I say? It's one of the reasons and one of the main reasons that uh, uh, churches are having trouble on their Wednesday night. A lot of times, some churches don't even have it anymore because people's lives, especially if they've got kids, and we're talking about the millennials and this thing, if they've got kids in that, they're so busy, so involved. They've got so much going up that they don't have time to follow a set schedule. They've got time after the kids are in bed and uh, uh they got their feet off, maybe jammies on and stuff like that. And they want to watch some dumb TV program. They're, they want to go over and they, they want to learn what they want to learn or they, they're, they were thinking about something this week or something like that. So they're going to go and they're going to they're going to uh, stream it to them either on their phone or they sit down or on the computer. You know, they're going to stream it and they're going to see what they want at their time. I hope you get what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, this time of... of, of of setting a time for everything and that it really doesn't make any. The only thing you miss out on sometimes on the on the uh, if, if you're not on the live live stream and all that is a chance to answer questions. But you, most of the time, if you're like like I am, I'm doing my hangout and all that. There's a question and answer box underneath there. You can send me a question and I'll get back to you just as soon as as soon as I get it. I usually do it within a couple hours. Sometimes when I'm out, my family are doing something. It'll be longer than that, but but usually I check it and it gets out and I answer your questions. So uh, what can I say? Uh, all right, hold on here. I hit that by mistake. I'm here talking and uh, uh, so it, that's what we're talking about. It has hangout and live stream marketing booth. It, it the shine is a go-to expert and. Advanced production strategies. You're using XSplit. I don't know if you know what XSplit is. XSplit is is the you've seen these programs and that they use it all the time on uh, on TV. They use it. It's it's where you have three or four different layers. It's where I can be uh, like this girl here. She's got the uh, stars and all that behind her, and the next one I I can hit a button and there'd be an ocean behind her or you know waves coming in and everything like that. You you can set it wherever you want, and you'll never see as you see this if when the PowerPoint goes off, you can see the back of my kitchen and all that. And every once in a while, my mother-in-law will come out or my wife will go by, which is fine. I, that, that, you know, they live here and we do it. But uh, uh, we're getting to the point 
that and that's not going to happen much more after the next couple of weeks and you'll see why and i'll tell you about it but uh, that's what exploit is exploit is allows you to control your your circumstances allow to show what you want and you can you can have yourself you know one of the biggest things is right now i cannot you cannot see my face when i do these powerpoints well using XSplit, you're going to be able to see me. I'm going to be able to see you. You see me, and, and the PowerPoint is going to be there off to the side. That, that's one of the benefits for it. There's a lot of other benefits for it. Uh, uh, it just is a, a sharper, advanced uh, way to present your, present your uh, material out there. It just looks professional smells professional and is professional what can i say and then live stream simulcasting we we talked about that for guys sakes if 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 i could simulcast this to five or six different venues why wouldn't i rather than have to do one after the other and i don't want to do one half the other that gets to be work but i love doing this like this it's one one program and it gets simulcasted out and man all these people uh, they, they talk to me they become friends with me we uh uh I answer questions and all that. Uh, it just helps, folks. And that's more people that join my course when they say, hey, yeah, I really need Terry's course. And I really need him because he gives me the uh, special training that I do. I don't, uh, I'm not like a lot of courses where I'm not available or I'm on a, a forum or something like that. I First uh, thing that happens, you get my phone number and you get my private email. And uh, and I'll answer you just as soon as I can, especially the, the phone number is my cell phone, uh, which I've usually unless I forget it, my wife will tell you sometimes I do, and I don't mean to, but uh, uh, it'll be there, and I'll answer your question, you know, it's 9 to 9, I'm available, and, uh, uh, and all that, so uh, let's go on here, and, and here's why I'm talking about this course, because, you know, this is the most cutting-edge course available for non-techies, that's me, and I think it's probably you if I'm talking to it, because uh, or maybe you are techie, and I don't mean to uh, offend you or anything like that that's not but most of it you know i could go over to one of the technology sites and everything like that and i could learn all about uh x split i could learn all about uh, uh um simulcasting but you know what it might take me a year just to understand their language you know and that's not me i'm not techie i'm probably will never be techie uh knowing me i can't ever see me being techie that's not me but it's some tells me it said you you press this and then you press that and you uh, set this at 60 megahertz or whatever I'm just making stuff up or you know and everything and, and your mics on and everything you're good to go so just say plus go and wave to the people I can do that that's me I can understand that but uh, all this other stuff and that's what Virginia teaches Virginia Parsons uh, that's who we're talking about she's the teacher uh, she is the go-to person as far as I'm concerned for uh, any kind of uh, a cutting edge cutting edge technology uh, these ca these broadcasts Google Google hangout she's a hangout mentor she what can I tell you uh, I've learned so much from that lady she just uh, uh, she spits technology nickels what can I tell you <laughs> She teaches XSplit technology. She splits screens layers, you know, and, and, and I don't want to get into that while I'll give you a link over there. We can go over and read about it if you, if you want to, if this is for you. If, if, but, if uh, you know, uh, check it out and see what you think. But she can take you from success to failure just like that. She teaches all the techniques and tips you need to have a successful presence. And that's what it's about, is having a successful presence on the web. So whether they see you, whether it's Google Hangouts or YouTube or Blab or Periscope or, uh, or iTunes, you need to be there. You need to have a presence. You need to have a presence on as many places as you possibly can. And if you can get it done all at one time, this is what you need. This is what it's about. This is using media to your advantage, not media using you. You're using media to your advantage. So what can I tell you? What can I tell you? So I don't want you to think I'm trying to pull the wool over your eyes or anything. I'm going to tell you right now, Virginia is one of my mentors. This lady, she knows what she's talking about. Like I say, she spits technology and puts it into terms that I can understand. And, and that's what I appreciate. And that's what I like because, uh, it, see, on the expert, some of the uh, – uh, uh, the expert, some of the uh, instructions that come with it, I can't even get past the first paragraph. I'm telling you, it's all techie and everything like that. Because XSplit, I, I will explain this, XSplit is also a program that uh, 
they use for broadcasts like this, but it's also a program that gamers use. And so uh, uh, a lot of gamers are really into that and they know that. And I can say that the, the page, what can I tell you? The instructions, I can't get past the first paragraph, but Virginia can tell me and I understand. So what am I telling you? When it comes to online broadcasting, simulcasting and broadcasting, she's my go-to person. If I get a question about it, I talk to her. So, and I'll be honest, with you, I'm a graduate of her fast start program. I that's where I learned what I am, what I'm doing right now, and that and she's the one that taught me. So if uh, <laughs> I'm making any mistakes, which I always do, I was gonna say blame her, but no, don't do that. Blame me. I, I'm the one. But uh, uh, believe me, she knows what she's talking about. And then the, the other thing I think is going to be really neat because I'm going to be taking this course. I, I believe what I'm telling you right now is, is is a cutting edge, and especially since the new cars are coming out with 4G, and, and the more I read, every time I, I can read a, a one article of it, at least once a day, that's explaining how millennials are no look, looking at this uh, uh, the stuff like you and I did. I used to, and I looked, remember, well, what can I tell you? You remember, if you're like me, well, maybe you're not. You're not maybe quite that old, but I'm old enough to remember what the the yellow pages used to be. And I'm going to tell you something. If you did not have an ad in the yellow pages as far as a business back then, you were shot, especially in a, a bigger town. You know, you just didn't have a choice. You didn't. Look. But then you know what happened? Bell South and all them. They just kept increasing and increasing and increasing and increasing the thing until you were paying. Some people were paying fifteen hundred dollars for a little quarter edge ad page ad in a thing and man you had to make a lot of whatever you were selling just to pay for the ad and and so that's why i'm taking this course because everything we're talking about here folks is free except for the course well xsplit you can get there's an advanced xsplit i think it's something like 20 bucks a month it, it's kind of a no-brainer they've got this the starting course or the uh, uh the broadcast course which is what i'm going to be using it is free so I'm we're talking about something free, folks. And, and take advantage of this, where you can where you can simulcast, be on four or five channels at once, and then have it sent out to more and to more and to more, and people can pick you up on demand. Oh, I just thought about it. I I'd be demand. So don't tell my wife; she might get jealous here now. But anyway, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So, I, but this is what uh, you want if you want to have a successful presence on the web with the next new technology join me because it's going to be fun and exciting you know i was one of the first ones i i think i've told you i i wrote a lot of articles i still got a lot of articles of things and i get this uh, uh uh printout once a month from ezine articles that tells me how many uh people looked at my articles this month how many clicks i got and everything else believe me folks that was years ago that was years ago, 15 years ago. Maybe some of those things that were written, because uh, I was a be decorator back then. I wrote a lot on verticals and uh, insulated blinds and all that. You'll see there's still some of the best, and I'm not bragging, but some of the most sought after uh, articles on that site. And I get it. And I still, you know, uh, I get clicks from it. So that's what I'm telling you. That's what we're talking here. We're talking about something that's free. Didn't cost me anything to write that article. We're talking about something. Doesn't cost me anything. Does not cost me a thing to do this hangout right here. But yet, when I get done, this hangout is going to be uh, available on five or six different places. People are going to, uh, at their leisure, they're going to pick it up. They're going to listen to it. They're going to hear what I've got to say. And maybe they'll act on it. Maybe not. That That's just part of it. But the thing I'm trying to get at, it's free, folks, and it's free for them. It's not costing me anything. And it's like those articles that I did 15 years ago. They're still making me money. Now, what can I tell you? So, can I tell you? So, joy. And <clears throat> what I'm saying is, that's the reason I'm going to take this course. Because I can do hangouts like this. I've got no problem. I do one or two every week. And uh, probably no. And, and, I am not a great speaker. As you know, I stutter when I'm doing some of this. I get excited and I get off track and, and all that. But I enjoy doing this so much. And, and I like it. And you know the thing about it is that it's going to keep because I got it monetized. I know how to do that. And Virginia teaches all this. She teaches how to put the keywords in, what you need to know, what you need to do to be successful. And that's what it's all about. So uh, uh, what can I tell you? I am looking. And I... 
hope that some of you that especially if you've got Amazon products and stuff, will join me in the course because I'm going to do a lot of uh, of uh, promotion uh, on products, other people's products uh, during this course to try it out because uh, I I just I've got some neat ideas and that's what I'm going. So I hope some of you'll join me. Uh, we'll have a great time. We're going to learn together and we're going to come out on top. So what can I tell you? So. Right here, here's the link. It's also over there on the right-hand corner of your, your computer. It's the link in that, but here it is, and, and it's, uh, you see it right there, and those three guys three guys are given the high sign. That's what I'd like to see you. If you join me in the course, I'll give you a high sign or a high five and, uh, uh, and everything. But uh, what can I tell you? It's, it's uh, I'm going to leave it up just for a couple of minutes to copy it or whatever you want, but you can go to it, find out about it, and uh, – uh, join me in the course because we're going to have a good time and I am really excited about it because I think this is some of the most cutting edge things and you know I might be 73 years old but I'm going to tell you when it comes to uh, uh, knowledge like this and everything like that I couldn't I, I can't find my way around the TV but I'll tell you what I can make this computer dance and just like when I was, was doing draperies and that I, I made draperies dance you know, I, I know what I'm doing. And, uh, and what I'm talking about here, this is something you need to do because maybe you're not going to get it exactly next month. You're going to get a big payoff, but you're going to get a payoff from what you're doing. If you do this course and that and set it up and everything, you're going to get a payoff for the rest of your life. And that's what it's all about. That's what it's, that's what any of this is all about. So uh, 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 I, I don't care what comes in this week. It's what's going to come in next week. What's going to come in a year from now. Five years from now, 10 years from now, 15 years from now. Wow, 15 years, 73, 83, 87. All right, guys. Uh, sounds good to me because uh, probably by then I might not be. I don't know. I I always tell my wife I'm going to live to be 105. But uh, uh, I don't know. I don't think she believes me. But uh, uh, <laughs> anyway, what can I tell you? There's the link. I hope you've all got it down because I'm going to start sharing. Stop sharing now and go on over. and. Uh, uh, I'm going to stop this. Hold on a minute. We're going to go. Oh, I've got a little problem with my TV right here, but here we are. And there I am in all my, not naked glory. I do have my shirt and everything on, but uh, what can I tell you? Uh, I appreciate you. So uh, there's the link right here. It's the show item, the hangout course creation made easy. That's it. Uh, uh, I hope you'll join me on that. If anybody would like to ask a question, I'm going to turn the uh, question and answer app on really quick. Uh, it's on there. And if you want to answer me a question really quick, I will. I see we've got uh, a, a number of viewers on here, and I thank you for coming out at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I know that's a, a, a rough time, but uh, uh, that's what it is. I didn't have time to do it any night this week. Uh, I've got a, we've got another program coming Thursday night, and then I'm going out of town this weekend. And uh, the weekend after next, I'm going out of town. So I wanted to get this in, especially, oh, because that course, by the way, starts tomorrow night. Now, you don't have to be there from the first, because like I say, it's an evergreen course. Uh, once it's on, it, you're going to be able to watch it whenever you want, anytime you want. So, uh, uh, but it's live tomorrow. And if you get on the live things, the thing that I like to be about in the first one in these courses of Virginia is because you get to answer questions. A lot of times she will take you uh, behind the hangout or behind the session, and you get to answer questions questions and you talk about some of these ideas back and forth like I wish we were we got more viewers I can't get you all in I can only get a few in so uh, uh, but sometimes uh, that's what it's all about so uh, with that being said it's 244 and doesn't look like anybody's going to answer me any questions so let me have a drink here so what can I say see that's one of the things you'll Look at that now if you want to see what my kitchen looks like <laughs> and all that because it's not going to be that way after a while. After in a couple of weeks, we're going to have that. See, and I, I don't know. I'm trying to decide whether I want to have a nice, uh, as we're talking like this, where I have the, the oceans rolling in or uh, oh, you need know, to live down in South Florida. I actually only live less than a mile from the beach. It's uh, probably It's probably only half a mile. I don't know. I very seldom go to when I first, you know, it was one of those things when I first went to Florida, went to the beach quite a little bit. But then uh, as I've gotten older and I've been down here 38 years now, the beach doesn't really 
turn me on like it used to. I know some people does, and that's fine, and and that's all. But uh, <clears throat> you know, I like sitting down on my back porch with the ocean breeze. I could it it comes in, and we can get the cool, especially even in the hot summertime when it gets really hot out there. There off my back porch, there is a great ocean breeze that comes in, and I can just sit there and enjoy it and relax and have a good time. So, with that being said. I'm going to tell you one more time, I would love nothing like more than to have you on the on that class with me because I'm going to tell you it's cutting edge. We're going to learn. And like I say, what you do today, you're going to still be reaping benefits from it 15 years from now. So with that being said, I am going to stop the broadcast like usual. If you've got any questions, anything like that. Get me, Terry Shire at gmail.com, or you can go to YouTube underneath my video, and you don't have to watch the whole thing. Just click there and put a thing, and I will get back to you. So uh, with that, I thank all of you that, that watched this afternoon. You have a good day, and I shall see you on.